Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to I Ready Math Lesson 22, video number two. So yesterday we introduced making line plots. And remember, line plots are a type of graph to show us different lengths of measurement, to organize lengths of measurement to see what is the shortest length, the longest length, which length do we see the most of. So let's go ahead and get started with measuring. So the first thing we are going to do is look at a word problem on page 204 in our instruction book. So go ahead and get open to, opened to page 204 and 205. All right, I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome sauce. All right, let's look at our word problem that we're working with. It says, Julia spilled a box of spaghetti. She picked up the broken pieces shown below. She measured each piece using centimeters. All right. So we are going to be using centimeters. So what are you going to need, Smarties? You're going to need a ruler. All right. So we are going to be measuring. Let's see how many. Ooh, let's see how many. We are going to be measuring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many measurements are we going to have on our line plot? Eight measurements. All right, so let's go ahead and get our ruler. Make sure that you are on the centimeter side. Remember, those centimeters are shorter than inches. And what are you going to make sure to line it up with? zero. All right. Let's start with letter A. So I line it up with a zero. And Smarties, when you line it up with a zero, how long is letter A? Six centimeters. So I'm going to write six centimeters. All right. Let's move on to letter B. All right. Line it up with that zero. On the left end, that right end lines up with what length? What is letter B? Four centimeters. All righty, all righty. All right, letter C, line up that left end with the zero. Ooh, how long is letter C, Smarties? Eight centimeters, eight centimeters. All right, letter D. We line up that left end with a zero on our ruler. And the right end lines up with what length? Five centimeters. Oop, centimeters. All right, letter E. Ooh, how long is letter E, Smarties? seven centimeters. Letter F. <gasps> Smarties, how long is the spaghetti noodle for letter F? Eight centimeters. <gasps> so we have two that have the same Length. Ooh, that will be really helpful with our line plot. Okay, keep that in your head. All right, let's measure letter G. All right, so I'm lining up that left end with a zero. And my right end lines up with what measurement? 10 centimeters. Ooh. And letter H, our last one. How long is letter H, Smarties? Six centimeters. All right. All right, so we have measured all of those so we can put our ruler to the side. Let's look at number two. It says, what is the length of piece A? What is the length of piece A, Smarties? Six centimeters. It says for letter C, three, to draw an X above the number on the line plot. So look at our line plot, Smarties. So we have our line plot starting at four and ending at 10. Letter A has a measurement of six. So we are going to put an X 
above six. All right, so it says to measure the rest of the spaghetti pieces. After you measure each piece, draw an X above the correct number on the line plot below. So letter B, what did letter B have a length of? Four centimeters. So look on the line plot, draw an X. Letter C had a measurement of eight centimeters. Letter D had a measurement of five centimeters. Letter E had a measurement of seven centimeters. Ooh, so far we haven't had any that is not on the number line. All right, letter F is eight centimeters. Oh goodness. Okay. Letter G is 10 centimeters. And letter H is six centimeters. All right. Oh, so which length did we not have any spaghetti noodles? We had none that were nine. All right. So let's look at number five on page 205. It says, what does each number on the line plot show? So what does each number show us? Look below the number. Remember that word under the numbers tell us what it is we're measuring. What are we doing? We are measuring length. So what does each number on the line plot show? The length, lengths in, ooh, what kind of unit? Centimeters. All right, what does each X show? On our line plot, what does each X show? Look at the title, spaghetti pieces. So we could say each X shows a spaghetti. Spaghetti is a funky word, so S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I shows a spaghetti Peace. All right, so how many X's should be on the line plot? So let's count how many X's we should have. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should have eight X's. Why should we have eight X's? Because there were eight pieces. Eight X's because there were eight pieces of spaghetti. All right, number eight, it says, why does the line plot start at four instead of zero? <gasps> Ooh, why doesn't it start at zero, Smarties? Think about what we talked about yesterday. When we have line plots, we start with what measurement? The shortest measurement. So we can say our line plot needs to start with the short, or, ooh, there's a O-R, short-est. Oh, shortest. That's a suffix. Our line needs to start with the shortest measurement. Measurement. Ooh, let's see if I can find measure. Oh, there we go. Measure. Meant. There's another suffix, Smarties. Meant. All right, so remember, with a line plot, our line starts with our shortest unit of measurement and ends with what? Our longest unit of measurement. Number nine says, why aren't there any X's above nine? So why don't we have any X's? Because none of our pieces were nine, nine centimeters, right? So we can say none of the pieces were nine, make sure to label, nine centimeters. So if, so 
I know that nine looks really lonely, Smarties. I know it looks so lonely. But remember, just like how we have to be really precise with measuring, we have to be really precise with graphing. Because remember, our graphs are a visual way to organize information. If we see a number that ha doesn't have doesn't have a representation, doesn't show something, leave it. Because if it's not there in our information, then we don't need to show it either. All right, Smarties, I'm going to move myself. There we go. All right, and let's look at number 10. Number 10 says, what is the length of the shortest spaghetti piece? So look back at your line plot, Smarties. Which one is the shortest? four centimeters. Four centimeters is our shortest unit or our shortest measurement. Number 11, what is the length of the longest spaghetti piece? All right, Smarties, look at your line plot. Which one has the longest? 10 centimeters. That is where our line plot ends. Number 12 says, how many spaghetti pieces are six centimeters long? All right, look back at your line plot, Smarties. How many are six centimeters long? Two. And how many spaghetti pieces are longer? Ooh, listen to that. Longer than seven centimeters. Okay, so we're not looking for how many are seven centimeters. We want to know which ones are longer than seven centimeters. So which numbers are larger than seven. Look at your line plot. Look at seven. Which numbers are larger than seven? Eight, nine, and ten. So how many are longer than seven? One, two, three. Ooh, smarties, do you see why it's important to underline those important words? Because if I saw that seven, I would have just put a one there because I would have thought, oh, it wants to know how many are seven centimeters. But no, if we have a word problem or a question, we need to read it more than one time so we know exactly what it is asking us to do. All right, Smarties, that is it for video number two with lesson 22 in iReady. Remember to keep that growth mindset because you are a good learner and good learners do challenging things like making line plots and graphs with links. All right, Smarties, I will see you tomorrow with another lesson with reading and making line plots. Happy measuring and happy graphing.